Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I am here with Baby Lucy. And Baby Lucy is a mix sculpt. But before I get into that, guys, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel by clicking the red subscribe button. Make sure you also click the bell so that you can be a part of the notification squad and get notified every time there's a video or a live stream or something on the community tab. Also, if you want to be a part of the chatterbox, you can do so by joining the link in the description bar. It is $1.99 a month. You do have to be 18 years old or older to join. Also, guys, <laughs> merch is available and the link is below. So back to what I was saying, um, Lucy, Lucy is the, she have the Evie by Lorley Eagle's head and she has the Rosalie by Oga Ara, which I'm sure I'm pronouncing wrong, um, limbs. And so she was also painted by Emily Dream Dolls from Instagram. So as you know, it's been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, um, where Lucy has been up for sale, then not for sale, then up for sale, then not for sale. And so part of that is because um, I think she is probably one of the most expensive newborn babies that I've actually ever paid for um, with painted hair and without rooted hair. And so I guess just a part of me just feels like a little panic, you know, but she is worth every penny and I, I absolutely adore her. I, she is the actual best. I love all my other babies, but I will say she is the most amazing and the best painted Caucasian baby to date. Um, and her painted, painted hair is amazing. Like, um, it's, it's just amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, something like on the level of uh, Yvonne Nathers, the Nathers. Um, type painting but let me turn her head I always like this side profile because I love to look at the painted hair so you guys know I, I'm I'm a little odd I'd be all into the art of things um, but I'm trying to see what you guys can see make sure you can see her face okay cool beans but yeah so turn a little bit right there all right so, yeah, so I try to, I, I've been trying to like rotate my babies around. Um, I can get caught up easily on the same babies over and over again. She's had a couple outfit changes recently. I hadn't been really changing her that much, but I was like, you know what, since I decided to keep her, at least for now. <laughs> I decided I would see what outfits she looks best in. And um, she has a tummy plate. I don't know if you guys seen this before, but it is very, I don't know what you guys can see, but it's very, very nice, very detailed. Um, Sometimes things that come across on camera as simple um, is not that simple. And even in person, you may look and say, oh, that should be easy to do with the painting. But like I told you guys before, um, to get a baby to be as detailed but still yet set very subtle um, is very hard. Um, I think it is probably one of the most challenging paint styles to actually do. Um... I am, let's see, I'm going to put her on her, I'm going to put her on her tummy plate. Now, I will have to say, I believe that these tummy plates fit a little, not big, big, but I don't know, they kind of poof out a little bit, but it's, um, but I love that they wrap around. And you don't have to keep worrying about the side part. So I really love that part. Um, 
so can't complain there. So she's going to wear her BFF. And I don't know, I probably will end up taking her off this belly plate, but I don't know. You know, the thing about some of my babies, which um, I'm very pleased with my personal collection right now, because when I walk into my nursery now, every baby in here looks real. So I'm very, very um, happy with that. And I actually enjoy just walking in and seeing like, seeing her just laying rather than being the crib the 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 um the rocker or the changing table i just love walking in and it just gives you that all moment like you'd be like oh i mean it's 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 just an amazing um thing so i'm very happy i am going to be working the next few days on and i don't think thursday at one point was pandas and i I could have put her on the pandas and she would have done it but I think that was last week <laughs> but um I'm I'm working on organizing my my um, closet and nursery right now and I know I've been saying this for a long time but it, it's just so many changes keep coming about in the nursery so I just actually bought a table a separate table to paint on as you guys know so what I'm going to do is once I get it all together, I'm going to do a quick nursery tour for you guys, update you guys, see the babies. The only thing about that when I do that, some of my babies are not put in the nursery, but I think I'll try to bring them out somehow and, and have them in the nursery so that um, you guys can get to see all the babies that I have in my nursery. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put her little head right there. Let's see. Go a little bit like this. And of course, you know, this is like my favorite. You guys can't deny that that's the like the most realistic look right there. Is when she got her little head turned like that. Um. This baby made me want to paint um, Charlotte by Laura Lee Eagles. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. And I'll be honest with you guys, I actually am painting right now um, Evie by Laura Lee Eagles. And um, she's coming along pretty good. I don't know what her final look will be. Um, but for now, I'm liking her, but I haven't went in and did that detail in the face and all that, that really makes her pop, but I got the skin tone going right now and I have a really cool inspiration pitch picture that I like. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, okay. So if I wanted to make her even more girly. I could do something like that and then we could push this up a little bit and say mama them them little pandas ain't working I don't know but I got those long socks too that don't go so I don't know and then she got little sandals but I think those sandals are too big for her feet they're little they used to be jades, but they're not that little. So, she might have to keep on the little thing. So, yeah. So, guys, um, yeah, yeah. I like a little. Oh, they're too big. They're too big. 
but she has a little lighter feet like going on like she is so cute I don't know I don't know I've I had been like I said I've been like watching this lady page for a long time and when this baby came available I just said you know what I'm gonna jump on it and I just did it it was like I just sold a, another doll and it was just like the timing was right and I was just like I'm just gonna do it and sometime every now and then because I don't I don't really shop I don't do designer I don't you know clothes and handbag well I do do <laughs> but that's only when people give me handbags and stuff like that I don't go out and spend my money on that type stuff but I do have a few little designer handbags and stuff but um normally I don't spend my money on it um so every now and then I feel like I could treat myself especially I work so hard and I you know I work full-time full-time um painting I make a lot of sacrifices for everybody except for myself well I have been doing for myself lately um this hobby kind of did that for me uh, before I got into this hobby I would not buy myself anything and then this hobby just kind of and I, I will say sometimes I feel like I overdo it but you know let's see. sometimes I feel like I overdo it but you know I just I'm, I'm slowly finding my happy medium with it um in maybe another video um although I never did my Q&A uh with everything going on with me personally and stuff like that and then a lot of people just don't really respond to that to the Q&A I did have a good Q&A for the chatterbox though and that video is still up if you guys join you can go back and watch and catch up on it but I will um, answer a few of the questions some people ask like where can they find you know silicone babies and um, you know silicone kits and you know reputable artists and you know how do they know like basically like um, whose artists that you can buy from and trust that you're gonna get your 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 actually get your doll versus you know getting ripped off because you know it's a lot of those little sites going on right now that do that and or you don't you know you think you're getting a really exquisite baby and you get something that's like you know a five-year-old could have painted so um I will try my best to answer that stuff in an, in the, maybe the next video and stuff um I don't like to recommend like um, different artists or I don't like to basically endorse people on my channel anymore um, mainly because for one I don't get paid for it too um, the if something go wrong people are like oh you recommended this person and every experience from is different from time to time because someone may have an excellent experience and then somebody might have a horrifying experience with the same artist and vice versa someone might have a horrible experience and the next person might have a fabulous experience and every baby is different um this art is handmade it's just one of those things where you just don't know it's it you know it's very risky that's why i really stray away from like private orders and customs because it's very risky because you know i've had stuff happen with me with painting my dolls that you know personal dolls or dolls that I'm painting to sell or whatever and I'm like oh my god what am I gonna do um I remember when I first painted my first silicone I literally had to strip it down completely and start over again and so you know things like that happen and it's kind of risky when you're dealing with somebody else's money because then you're in even more pressure so um you know and reborn is the same thing. You paint a reborn, you put a color on it, you think it's going to pop and it just don't turn out the way you think it's supposed to turn out or 
someone say they want a dark skin ethnic baby or African American baby and dark skin can be like a million different shades for African American. So your dark skin may not be their dark skin. What they consider light skin may not be light skin. It's just like all kinds of things. You may be thinking pecan tan. You might be thinking Hershey chocolate. You know, it's like our milkshake. You know, it's like, ah, uh, you know, you might be looking for a more Puerto Rican looking color or, you know, biracial, like, you know, Italian mixed with, with African American or like it's so many different things and people will be like, Well, I just want biracial and then when they say that's not biracial or oh my god, I did not want biracial, I want an AA and it's like, well that is AA. Like so it's 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 challenging. But I'm gonna try to do my best just for you guys and see what I can come up with as far as like different names of what I hear out here buzzing and people have said they had a positive experience. I'm gonna um, try to get some of that together and, and talk about that with you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy watching baby Lucy and um, she will be around in the nursery for a while, I'm pretty sure. And, um, and, and plus, just before I go, I know this is a long video, but even before that, let me also say, as I was putting her up for sale, and just to have to lower her price so much and knowing what I'm looking at before me and what I've seen compared to her work, I just, it just kept like bothering me. It was just so stressful that you have to lose so much on a very nice quality doll because I've paid, I have paid more, but for a bigger baby and it was rooted and it was beautiful, but yet the detail and stuff wasn't as much as this baby, if that makes sense. So I've, I've had very nice Caucasian babies done, but I'm very particular. So when I find somebody paint style that I really, really enjoy, it, you know, I just get really overexcited about it. But anyway, again, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Leave me a comment below. And I hope soon, soon, soon we'll do another live for the gym pop, meaning the general audience that's, you know, not the chatterbox. And, um, yeah. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, do that as well. See you guys later. Bye-bye.